Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Vicious and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today this one's going to be a little bit on the longer side because this is going to be a really detailed, uh, very technological type tutorial. I'm throwing back to some old tutorials I've done before where I showed you guys how to take an FLV video like this and break it into a new container, either MKV or MP4. This is mostly targeted for people from XSplit, uh, people who do live streams. You know when you create a local recording you end up with an FLV file like this. And this file is not very useful for you because you can't throw it into a video editor and there's not much you can do with it. If you try to convert it over to an MP4 or something so you can edit it, what happens is most of the time your video and audio end up out of sync. And so today I'm redoing that tutorial to teach you why that we had that problem before and how to fix it. I'm breaking it into two parts. Today, this very first part of the tutorial, I'm gonna be working with the MKV container. I love that container. It's good because this tutorial is easier than the second one. I'm going to teach you why we had a problem before, how to fix it, and also I'm going to show you how to break a long video like this one, which is almost two hours long, into smaller pieces. That way you can upload it to YouTube, and we're going to be doing that without a video editor. So somebody who doesn't have the software to edit videos or doesn't want to take the time to edit videos when you just need to split it into small pieces, this tutorial is for you and for everybody else who wants to know how to make an MP4 file. In the next tutorial, this is going to be your building block to learn about this first. So first things first, let me explain why we had a problem. Some people had no problems with the old tutorial, and that was because either your computer kept the recording at a constant frame rate or you had a shorter video. But here is the reality of XSplit recordings. Let me open this file up and play it for you. Let's mute my video. Look at my frame rate as I have a live preview of my frame rate on this recording you can see that it's varying uh, very rapidly from lower to higher frame rates. Even though my actual streaming of this video is at 30 frames per second, it doesn't stay at a constant 30 frames per second. On a short video, or for you guys that don't have your video frame rate vary that much, you are able to guess the proper frame rate when converting videos and get the video and audio sync close enough that you couldn't notice. But when you have a two hour long video like this one, uh, no my amount of guessing is going to get it close enough and it's going to end up really out of sync. So that was the problem. Not that you guys weren't finding the right frame rate, but because there was no right frame rate, it's variable throughout the entire video. So now you know the problem, here's how you fix it. Since we're working with MKV right now, I want you to download two things. Go to your internet browser. I always go to Google and we're going to need the uh, MKV tool nix. Here's the uh, author's site, this bunkus.org. Also, videohelp.com. You can download it from either one of those. The newest version right now is 5.90. Download that and install it. That's going to give us our MKV merge program that we'll need. And we're going to need the uh, FLV extract program. You can download it from After Dawn. 1.63 is the original one, but someone has created a newer updated version, 2.031. So either one will work for you. It doesn't matter which one you want to get. I will probably go ahead and use 1.63 for this tutorial because that's the original version that I'm most familiar with. Once you have both of those tools downloaded and installed, here's what you need to do. So we saw this was a two hour long video. Let's do some simple math real quick. I want to break that into six pieces. That's 20 minutes per piece. And we're going to run FLV extract first. So here it is, FLV extract, it's an EXE. When you run it, you simply get a nice little dialogue like this. This is the um, extracting the video, the time codes, and the audio. And all you have to do is drag your file on top of it. And this might take a little bit of a well, moment here. This is a two gigabyte file almost. All right, so now it's done here. It's telling me that everything was extracted. It's telling me that my true frame rate is 30. That's what it was set to record at. My average frame rate is 29.98, uh, but again, this would not help me because the frame rate varies so much we would not get our audio in sync. But if you look what we have here, we have the AAC file, this is our audio. We have the, the 264, which is H264, this is our video. And then we have this text file, this is our time codes. And this is what's going to save us right here. This is a text file that has every single frame of that video logged. And what we have to do is sync the audio and video to this time code. That's easy to do with MKV, and that's why I've been doing it for a long time now, uh, because I haven't really needed to use the MP4 format. Uh, let me go ahead and open up MKV Merge now. 
And this is part of the MKV Tool Nix program we downloaded. And this is again easy to do drag and drop wise. We'll drop in the audio. Now keep in mind I have AAC audio, not the uh, SPX, the speaks format, because I have the paid version of XSplit. If you do not have the paid version of XSplit, this tutorial may or may not work exactly the same. Uh, if it doesn't, then I recommend you go ahead and get the paid version of the program because it's very much worth it. We're going to drag in the video. And here's what you're going to do for this. Click on your video file right here, MPEG-4. And you have to, when you're working with raw video like we are right now, have to set the uh, frames per second normally. Otherwise, it just will, the program will just say, hmm, I don't know what the frames per second of this video is. I'm just going to guess for you. But we're not going to put one in because we are not using a static frames per second. Under the general track options, under time codes, you're going to browse and you're going to find that time code file. And once I was, to, if I was to mux this together right now, it would create me an MKV to replace the FLV file. Everything will work 100% perfectly. Uh, but I wanted to take this tutorial one step further and go ahead and show you guys that MKV Merge has this option under the global. Enable splitting. If I want to take this two hour video and break it into smaller videos, I can do that right now without having to go into a video editor. You can do it after so much of the file size, after a time code by parts, like you can just split it into six parts and you can do it by duration. I don't know why, but I just go with duration. I know that I need zero, zero hours, say 20 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and start that up now. And we're all finished with that. And you can see that I have exactly what we said we would have. We have six new files now in an MKV format. YouTube loves MKV format. So these are very useful. You can just upload these now. We broke this two hour video down into sm six smaller videos. Everything will be 100% in sync. I absolutely guarantee you that you'll have no sync issues because we synced it with our time codes. So no matter how much lag you had, no matter how many dropped frames you had, no matter what happened during your recording, this will make sure everything stays in sync. The other thing uh, to note is if you ever have your XSplit terminate on you because your computer crashed, because your resolution changed, whatever happened in your video got corrupted so that it wasn't seekable, using this uh, format that I just did where we remuxed it into an MKV container will fix those videos. So I've had to do that a couple times where I had my computer crash while I was recording. I was able to recover my videos using this tutorial here. So that is part one, guys. Uh, I'll make sure I work on the mp4 part next for those of you who do need to import your videos into a video editor and then i'll have some extras coming up after that as well so if this was useful for everybody go ahead and like the video to say thanks subscribe to the channel for all my other tutorials that i'll have coming soon and also product reviews this was vicious and i'll see you guys next time